Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be making another superhero gadget. We're gonna use this to punch with electricity. So I've done a little bit of this before in previous videos, but the problem with this is it's really bulky and you like really can't wear it anywhere. So I'm gonna to try to make a really low profile version using this mini stun gun. It's called the Hornet. I'll link in the description below if you guys wanna go check it out. Also a disclaimer, I am not gonna use this to hurt anyone. Basically this idea is just for fun. You know like when you're watching superhero movies or action movies and there's like 10 bad guys closing in on the one good guy and it just seems completely hopeless? Well, I like to think about what I would do in that situation or like something I could build that would allow me to get out of that. So yeah, that's basically all this video is. All right, so this works by having a switch right here. Flip it on, that goes on, and one button is for the taser and this other button's for the light. Got some LEDs on there, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then if you turn it off, none of them work. But the reason I chose this one is because it's super small and that'll make it really easy to conceal like on my arm. But yeah, the first step is to rip it open and see what's inside. All right guys, so my plan right now, after seeing what's inside, um, I think I'm gonna mount all of these components to some nylon band uh, and I'm gonna wrap this around the upper part of my arm. And then I'm gonna run all the buttons and the two um, electrodes, I guess, down to, to a band that's gonna wrap around my hand like this. But uh, yeah, the first thing is desoldering all these switches and mounting this to my arm. All right guys, so here's what I've got so far. So far I've extended out the lights and the switch. Um, so those will be on my hand. And yeah, I left the main power switch on right here so I can just um, flick that like that. That light goes on. And if we take this and press this button, just like that. And I also need to figure out a way to insulate all of this so I don't accidentally shock myself. All right, so what I'm thinking with the hand piece is I actually just ripped apart the holster that came with this. And yeah, it just gives me this nice um, piece of fabric. Wrap this around my hand, um, connect it like that, and then I'll have a nice um, hand piece. But what I'm also gonna do is add on some elastic right here. So this will just stretch out like that and then I can slip it back and then I'll attach over my wrist just like that. So I'll just be able to slide it out real quick and then put it back. All right guys, so this is what the handband looks like. Um, I've added some elastic right here. So uh, as you can see, it stretches. Um, and basically I just glued the bottom part on and made like a uh, tube so this can slide through here so it still gives the stretch. Um, so this just goes on your hand like this and um, I'm gonna have the electrodes be right here and then when you want to I guess wear it around but not have it around your hand you can just kind of pull it down like that and it'll just sit around your wrist and whenever you want to use it just slide it back up. All right, so I just cut these two rails out of an aluminum can, and I'm planning on using them to go across the knuckles. Um, so they'll be like this. And yeah, I just sanded them down to make them a little bit better conductors. All right, guys, I got the rails mounted on there. Um, so I also added a piece of rubber beneath that to insulate my hand a little bit, so it doesn't travel into my hand and shock me. Uh, so basically all I have to do is just cover up all these wires and. Um, make it look a little better. And yeah, that'll be the handpiece. Oh yeah, and I have to also mount the switch and the light on the side. All right guys, so this wouldn't be one of my projects if I didn't screw it up somehow. So basically I was testing out this piece and um, it wasn't working quite right. So I thought, oh, my batteries might be dead. So stupidly, I just thought, oh, I'll plug it in and charge it without insulating any of these wires. So you guys can probably guess what happened. I plugged it in and the thing basically blew up. Had to reset the fuse box 
And yeah, this is all basically toast. Luckily, I've been doing this long enough that I've acquired a few backup tasers. So we can get rid of all that. And I've got another module right here. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, but I don't really want to run the risk of ruining this one too. So what I'm going to do is just basically keep this whole housing the same, strap it to my upper arm, and yeah, just I've already basically extended the wires here, and um, it'll work the same way. So here is the trigger switch. Uh, it's basically just a momentary switch, and I put a little bit of nylon around it. All right, guys, so here is the finished product. Let's go test it out. So here's how it works. Basically, we have this hand piece right here. Um, this slips onto your hand just like this, and it sits right about where the knuckles are. So it doesn't sit over the hand, it sits right here. And that's so you could like punch and also have it shock. And then this piece where the actual uh, battery and uh, components are, this goes around your arm. So that sits around just like this, and it's got some Velcro right here. You see that just attaches just like that. Um, the charging port, uh, you can just plug into the wall, push this out. Those prongs will charge it. And the power switch is right here. So if we flip this, and then we push the button right here, and then you went to punch someone like this, you can see it makes a very big shock, and that would definitely hurt. And then if you put a shirt on over this, you can barely notice it. And if you wanna wear this around without this being on your hand, all you gotta do is just pull this down. There's some elastic right here that helps the band stretch over your wrist and just sits right there. And if you had like a looser sweatshirt, I guess you can do it with this one, but you can just kind of put the cuff over and there you go. No one will know. Now again, please don't go out and make this and hurt people. That is not the intention at all. I just made this because I really love cool superhero gadgets. And you guys really seem to like it when I make them too. Also, thank you so much for the crazy awesome support on my last few videos. Um, if you did like this, don't forget to give it a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, and you want to see some more cool videos. So that's all I've got for today, guys. So I'll catch you in the next one.